Hello, in this video we are going to be having a look at how to connect an applicator to an iPad to enable the use of a single smoothie switch. On the front of the applicator you can see that we have the four numbered switch ports and in this video we are going to be using the first switch port. There is a mode button on the front. This relates to the different modes that you can use to change what the switch does. These can be seen on the back. Please speak to your speech language therapist about the most appropriate mode to use for your learner. The channel button relates to the different channel or ports being used and the keyboard button allows us to use a keyboard on the iPad. The charging point is at the side of the applicator. The green light above the battery icon will light up green when it is plugged in and charging. So we're going to go into our settings on the iPad and turn the Bluetooth on. You can see the red circle going round on the applicator showing that it is searching for a Bluetooth device. When it comes up, we are going to select it under our devices on the iPad. If you have already used the application before, it should already come up under your devices. Once connected, we are going to change the mode on the applicator. In this video, we're going to use mode R, which means it should play a video for 30 seconds when we press the switch. So firstly we're going to get our video up on YouTube. You can see that the keyboard is not coming up so we need to select the keyboard button on the applicator and type in what video we are searching for. We can then press the keyboard button again, as we will not be using the keyboard again, but listening to the music. We're going to make the screen big and we are ready to press the switch to play the music. So in this mode, when the switch is pressed, it will play the video or the music for 30 seconds before stopping. This is when we need to press the switch again to play the video for a further 30 seconds. It is important to mention the different switch ports. As you can see, there is a small red light above each of the numbers. Make sure that the switch port that you are plugged into is lighting up. To do this, press the channel button to light each switch port up one at a time. So in this example, switch port one should be lit up when I do that. As you can see, the video just stopped and we repressed the switch to play some more of the video. Next, we're going to have a look at mode five. This is to allow us to use the switch within a switch activated app. As you can see, switch port one light is lit up there, showing that we are changing the mode on the appropriate switch port. So we are going to choose an inclusive technology, Help Kids Learn app, which can be switch adapted. To do this, go into settings and press enable switch. We can then play and select the song or one of the counting activities. In this setting, when we press the switch, it will play a portion of the song before stopping the song. And this is when we will need to press the switch again to play some more. As you can see, the video has paused, which means that we need to press the switch again to play more of the video or song. 
These apps can be found in the App Store for a small fee. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful in providing information about setting up an applicator. If you do have any more questions, please speak to your speech and language therapist at AT Therapy. Thank you.